Hey guys, I'm Vanessa. My name is Paul. And we're back with another video. video. Guys, this is a video that we wanted to make for a long time. It is our favorite verse that changed our life. And I hope you enjoy it because I enjoy it. Yes, definitely. The first verse I'm going to share with you guys is in Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. This is what Jesus said. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. And I'm going to share some personal story with you guys why this verse is one of my, that is one of my favorite verse and it changed my life. In my line of work, I've seen many suffering. I've seen people die in front of me. I've seen people, anything you could think of, you know, I've seen it. I've seen brain splat on the floor. I've seen blood. I've seen so many terrible things. So me as a Christian, it, it messes with you to see all this type of suffering in the world. It doesn't matter what age. It could be an adult. It could be a teenager. It could be babies. You can think it. I've seen it. In this world that we live in, it breed uh, pain, suffering, wars. I've seen all these things. And me as a Christian, reading this verse in Revelation, it says, He'll wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death, there will be no more suffering. That gives me hope. That I know all these things that I'm, I'm seeing and I'm experiencing now will be no more. Even for myself, I've suffered some pain. I've suffered a, a, a lot of, you know, things that uh, bring me great harm in my life, mentally, especially the things, especially the, the things that I've seen, you know, when I'm working. I've seen all these things. So this verse brings me hope. This, this verse makes me happy. I just don't know. It just I love this verse and it changed my life. What about you? Um, before we go about me, I would like you to tell everyone what line of work you do so that they could really understand. <laughs> I work in the ambulance as an EMT. So whenever you call 911, I might show up to your house. <laughs> <laughs> I might show up to your house. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, thank you for sharing, babe. That was a really, really good verse. Yeah, I love this verse. Uh, for me, my first verse would be in Psalm 119, verse 105. And this verse says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a guide into my path. And I really love this verse um, because there was a time in my life where I started to doubt a lot. And I was doubting because a lot of ways that I thought that um, God speak to people were through possibly dreams, some type of miraculous sign or something like that. And I remember going through some really difficult times and I felt like, God, where are you? I'm not hearing you. I'm not, I don't hear anything that, I don't hear your words. I don't hear anything. I, I'm not dreaming anything. Nothing is working out. But then I'm reminded, <laughs> my husband told me something about, you know, God's word being um, God's voice himself. And when I came upon this verse, even though I've heard this verse many times, but it started to click to me. And that verse changed my life because I started to understand, wow, God didn't say, you know, dreams is a, is a, is a, as a lamp unto my feet, but he says his word is a lamp unto my feet and a guide into my pathway. So I can always be guided through his word. Every revelation that I need is in his word. Everything that I may want to do and accomplish in this life is in, is in his word. I could find his guidance in his word. So that really changed my perspective on life and it made me a happier Christian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so do you have, what's your second verse, babe? Well, before I go into that, guys, if you enjoyed this video, press the like button and, so, and if you consider, you can subscribe to our channel. Have you ever read a verse, a verse that just stand out, a verse that speak to you directly, a verse that you can feel that the Holy Spirit just reveal that verse to you and make you understand it? That is the verse I have for you today. A verse that changed my life. A, chain, a verse that changed the way I see life. The verse that I have for you is John chapter 5, verse 28 and 29. This is what it said. It's speaking directly to Christians, especially those that died in Christ Jesus. 
This is what it says in John chapter 5, verse 20 and 29. It says, Don't be surprised. Indeed, the time is coming when all the dead in their grave will hear the voice of God's Son, and they will rise again. Those who have done good will rise to experience eternal life, and, though, and those who have continued in evil will rise to experience judgment. That is the verse that changed my life. Again, back to my experience, the things that I've seen in my line of work, all the suffering, all the death, I've stand over bodies of people, looking at them on the floor, and I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, that person was alive. That person is a father. That person could, could have been my brother, my family, me as a Christian, and I've seen all these things, and I'm thinking, this will be over one day when Jesus returns. He will resurrect those that will die in Christ. And those, he also, those, uh, those people that is not righteous will also rise to experience judgment. So if you're not a Christian out there, I encourage you if you to look at the Christian faith from the inside in and read the Bible and see for yourself all the wonderful things he had to offer you. That verse changed my life. That I know there will be a resurrection of the dead. The dead will come back to life. And I know, and I know, it might, it sounds like a fairy tale. It sounds like a fairy, fairy tale to me at first. The dead will come back to life? Really? It sounds like a fairy tale. If you're not a Christian, I know that's what you're thinking right now. It will never happen. That can never happen. How will it happen? In what order of things? But I know there's going to be a resurrection. I'm speaking to you, Christians. There is going to be a resurrection because I believe in what Jesus said. And I believe what he said. He said when he's going to return, he's going to bring the dead back to life. That is a wonderful, that is a wonderful hope for all Christians all over the world that the dead will come back to life. That verse changed my life. It changed the way I see life. What about you? What is your favorite verse? That was so beautiful, babe. <laughs> Thank that you. was so touching. Um, one verse that, uh, the, my next verse that um, changed my life was uh, Romans 8, verse 1, where it says, therefore, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Uh, this verse really touched me a lot because um, throughout my life, I suffered with a lot of low self-esteem growing up, growing up in high school, elementary, and... Um, and I went through a lot of self-condemnation, constantly condemning myself. And even as I went through growing up, you know, those thoughts continuously tried to haunt me. And I feel like this chapter in its whole self, but most and foremost, this verse, every time that I'm faced condemnation, I re I'm reminded that I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And there is now no condemnation for me. And... And I am fully righteous before God, not because of my own righteousness, but because of Jesus Christ himself, because he died for me. And because of that, I no longer have to condemn myself. I don't have to, you know, like literally punish myself because of the things that I feel like I'm doing wrong. But I can always come to the Father and say, Lord, I repent of my sins. Lord, here I am. And I'm asking you to help me with this because I am not a condemned child. I, I'm his child. I'm for him. So that verse really changed my life. And I'm so thankful that um, God allowed me to know this verse to, for it to impact me in such a way. Yeah. Yes, it is true. There is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. It just is, if, you, if you're a follower of Christ, there's no condemnation for you. No one can condemn you in this world. None. So if you, if you like this video so far, don't forget, press the like button so other people can see there is hope out there. This, this life that we live in is not just it. There's life after death. There's going to be a resurrection. Suffering will end. Just like Revelation 21 verse 4 says, it will end. So this is, what we, this is the, the, the verse that we have for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Consider subscribing to our channel. You have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye. Bye.